Hey guys and girls, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your own iPhone 4 ringtone. So, let's just get started. Let's just find a song that we want to make into a ringtone. Let's get right into it. Alright, so now I've selected Airplanes by B.O.B. and Haley Williams. Now, the one thing you've got to remember before you do anything is that the song has to be DRM free. So, as you can see, completely DRM free. So, what you do next is you pretty much play the song and just wait for the point of when you want to start recording. So, mostly around the chorus. So, alright, now I've decided to go from nine seconds into the song. So, that's nine seconds out of. 252. Now, I can't actually play the song because it's a copyright infringement, so I just have to cut and copy everything. Now, go to options. This is like crucial part of it, so you have to go to options. Now, down here you see a start and stop time. Select both of them. Now, select the start time at 0, 0 0.9 seconds or any you know any time that you want the recording to start. So, if you want the ringtone to start during the middle of the chorus, at the, right at the end of the song. Just type in the time that you want it to start at. Now, the next thing is that the, the ringtone can only go for 40 seconds. So, just type in how long you want it to go. So it's 49 seconds. So, like that. So, you can see it's 40 seconds long and it's all good. Now, so you have to highlight these boxes here because if you don't, it'll do nothing. Alright, so, pull up. Now, this should play for only 40 seconds. Alright, so as you can see, the song is switched over at the end of 49 seconds. So it goes from 9 seconds to 49 seconds. So, that's a 40 second long thing. 40 second long length of the song. Now, what you gotta do next is go to create double AC version. Now, this is crucial, make sure it's double AC, otherwise, it won't be in the right format. Go to create, and we just sit back and wait. So, as you can see, we have one here. Now, this next part, simply right-click it, delete it, and go to Keep File. Do not go to Remove to Recycle Bin, because you need to keep the file. So, keep the file, and you're done. So, you don't need iTunes for now. Alright, so, we want to go to... Let's see, where is B.O.B.? Leave it to B.O.B. Oh, bloody hell, I've lost it. Yeah. So, here we go, B.O.B. This is in your iTunes folder. Now, if you don't know how to get there, just go into your My Documents and Settings, or, well, My Documents. Now, go on to, that should be called iTunes, and it should be under your Music folder. Now, mine's different, but that's because I configured it that way. So, go to iTunes. Go to, where is it? Uh, iTunes Music. And you just go down to B.O.B. Which is right here. So, sorry this is a little handheld, but I just didn't have enough space on my desk now. You'll notice that there's two new ones. Inspect this one. This one is not the current one, but this one is because it has that one right there. So select that song. Go to Rename. Now, this is the next part. Watch what I do here. Change it. From M4A to M4R, you'll come up with this window here, which says if you change the file the name extension, it may become unus unusable. Are you sure you go yes, and then when you look at the icon again, you'll notice it's changed to ringtone. So let's open it up. As you can see, four seconds, and it ends in 30 seconds. So this is a 40-second long ringtone, and it works. Now, here's the best part now. I already have done two before, and this is just coming to the next three, which is now under ringtones. So, just for a quick revision, first select your song. Video kill the radio side by the bubbles, or this make sure it's DRM free. Go to get info, options, select a 40 second interval of the song, so from one point to another within 40 seconds. Create Go convert AAC, create AAC version. Then go to your documents. So, 
go to iTunes, iTunes Music, we want to find the Buggles or the Bugles, I can't remember what they're called, sorry. Okay, well I can't find it, so select it, select the song, and you should find another song saying The Chosen One. So, you know, that was actually not a bad choice. But anyway, change the file extension from 4 M4A to M4R as an R for Robert, and you have your new iPhone ringtone. So all that you have to, left to do now is just simply go to ringtones. I'm not sure if you can just click. Oh, sorry. Do that again. So click. Sorry. Hold on. Look at the camera. I'm gonna get sued for that. Drag it down to here. And bang. You're done. And that's quick. Alright. So that's how you sync. That's how you make ringtones for your iPhone. I'm Brypod or Bryce Taylor or whatever the hell you want to call me. And have a good night. Thumbs up.